seven and a half. Lebanon, 17, three counties in. Big play coming up for Lebanon. Third down and five. Field position and big play for Ray County also. Slot left. Sellers is a slot back. Mo Thompson split out here. They jumped offside. We went on two. I think that'll give us close to a first down. Flags flying. Check the penalty. I think Ray County got in the neutral zone. They did. The penalty would be stepped off from the 35 to the 30. I believe we're going to be what? John, are we about a foot short? Uh, Bruce, we're going to be about a foot short down here. The officials marked it off. It looks like uh, third down and about maybe half a yard. All right, we're on the 30. We got to go barely to the 29 and a half, maybe not even that far. We went on to and Ray County jumped off side. We take it, run Rose. I think he got it to the 28. Steve Rose, first down, Lebanon. Clock is running 5.05 and we're trying to drive. 17 to six, Steve Rose on a power fullback play. They'll spot it on the 29, give him a yard. First down ball on the 29, Rain has stopped at the moment. It came in here and then it stopped with the wind really blowing out of the south right in the Lebanon's face as they head toward the south end zone. And a good crowd on hand. Lebanon needs to score. That would really help us before the half. Takes the ball, we run Tyson. Tyson got a little daylight and got to the 25 and got four out of it. Barely crossed the 25. Tyson, Neil our tailback, running hard, got four yards to the 25, second and six. And Bruce, Ty uh, Tyson did a good job just getting what he could as Ray County pinched the defense in to try to clot that play up. Tyson just buried his head and went right into the teeth of that defense, picking up a couple of yards there. Ball is on the 25, he got four, second down, six. Drifted calling signals with a tight end right, split in left. We run a trap in the middle, and Thurston got three, I think, to the 22 where they'll spot it. Zach Thurston, our fullback, as we tried to trap him, and we did a pretty good job of it. Not as, as much yardage as he's been getting, but he did get to the 22. Now we're looking at third down and a long two. Third and a long two and a half, maybe three. Ball on the 22, 337 to go. We'll say third and three to go. Third down and three. We got to go to about the 19. We're on the 22. Third down and three and a slot left. I set. Triffitt takes the ball, runs a sweep. Dirksen got hit. He didn't get it. He got to the 21 or 22. Back to the line of scrimmage. Let's see where they spot. It. I think they're going to put it. Jerry, you can see it better than me. Where is it? 21? Bruce, they're going to spot it just inside the 22, almost on the 21. So we're looking at fourth down. We'll say two and a half. Fourth and two and a half. Lebanon wants a timeout. We'll take one, two. 30-second break. Lebanon leads 17 to 6. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Campus of Lebanon High School, Tommy Bryant, Terry Stafford, Bruce Skeen, John Bryant, our sideline reporter, Donnie Denny back at WFMQ Control as the rain continues now it has started back up that blowing rain kind of a heavy drizzle coming out of the south lebanon looking at a fourth down and three fourth down in a long two or two and a half three yards to go we got to go to the 19 we're on about the 21 and a half trip it calling signals takes it little hot pass knocked down incomplete ray county will take over Ray County, one of their linemen got their hands up. We were trying to hit our slot back Sellers, and Ray County got a hand up and knocked it down, and the rain is beginning to get a little harder down. Bruce, Chavez Job was open on the other side. Chavez didn't have anybody within eight or ten yards of him. Greg uh, looking at Sellers all the way and has that pass knocked down. Ray County going to take possession on downs. Rain is coming out of the south blowing now hard only 55 seconds to go in the half ray county may have taken a timeout did they check the timeout i think they did 30 second timeout we'll be back in 30 seconds the scoreboard operator to reset the clock to 256 
if you could send a runner down there to the clock operator, reset the 256, and um, the clock went haywire again, and uh, they're going to supposed to be set at 256. Back up to you. 256 on the clock. Okay, John, we have relayed that message to the officials downstairs running the clock. 256, the clock apparently jumped. And Coach Melvin Daniels, our, our assistant principal, checking on the health of Bruce Skeen. John, that message has been relayed, and there we are, 2.56 on the clock. Apparently the clock jumping around a little bit. We had a problem with that earlier this season. So instead of 55, we're jumped two minutes. It's 2.56 to play, and Ray County's got time with a win behind their back to drive down here and make it real close. 17 to 6, we're late in the half. Back to pass, looking, looking over the middle, thrown, caught, drop. Great hit, DeMont Stone. They had a man on the 20, 39, DeMont Stone jarred it loose from him. That is an all-state defensive play, and DeMont Stone, last year as a junior, had eight interceptions. This year he hasn't had that many because teams don't like to throw in the middle. That's a classic example of why, because DeMont Stone will take your head off. DeMond with a big time shot on the intended receiver, Lincoln County, um, excuse me, Ray County, now looking at second down and 10. That was Nelson that had the ball up on the 39. DeMond knocked it loose from him, and it's second and 10 with 2.50 to go and a half. Wing T football team. And flag on a play. They may have taken too much time. They did. Five yard penalty, Ray County. They spent a lot of time in the huddle. That'll cost them five back to the 17 yard line. Terry, we don't want to jinx our team, but Lincoln County spent a lot of time spinning their wheels tonight. They really have, Tommy, and Lebanon has played extremely well on defense. No first downs for Ray County, and a little bit over just 15 total yards in the first half. It's Ray County out of the huddle, two wide outs, one to the left, back to pace. They're looking over the middle. We got a little rush on them, and they're going to run it. They up to the 22 or 3, and they knock him down. Ricky carried the ball up to the 23, and they knocked him down. He got about six maybe out of that thing. And it's going to be third down and eight. Third down and eight. Ray County wants a timeout. We'll take one, two with 229 and a half. Back in 30 seconds. Lead the Golden Eagles from Ray County by a score of 17 to six. The winner of this football game advances to next week's third round and will play host to the winner of the Knox Halls Jefferson County game, that game almost completed in East Tennessee, and we will try to have a score for our radio audience uh, during our halftime break. Ray County sending a couple of wide outs to the right this time in a passing situation, third down in eight, 17 to six, 229. Back to pass, looking, sprinting to the left, throws, man open, caught it, and got knocked down he got the first down though up on the 37 the monster knocked him down on the 37 they completed the pass out of the backfield first down ray county first first down of the game for ray county clay carroll ray county's leading receiver on the catch carroll 22 catches 428 yards coming into this football game that gain for first down yardage they're up on our 37 and they got 208, and they got the wind behind their back. Take the ball, they back the pass again, looking, they throw a little pass in the flat, caught, and that's their full back up to the 43, maybe the 44, as they hit the full back out of the backfield, and he got up to the 44 yard line and got about five out of, maybe six, maybe seven. He got seven yards out of it. It'll be second down and three. Our backs are gonna have to cover the backs out of the backfield and Steve Rose, Marlow C with a lot of pressure on them in this pass offense. Back to pass. Ricky's getting rushed by Skull Rude. Chased long pass down the field, incomplete. Skull Rude was chasing Ricky back on the 31 or two. Incomplete, third down in about three and a half. Skull Rude came hard on the pass rush and Ricky showing pretty good quickness for a guy his size, 6'1", 210 pounds left-handed naturally he likes rolling to his left got outside Alex in a uh, in a chase kind of mode and put enough heat on Bricky where he threw the incompletion 
The Lebanon crowd stands up and cheers her defense. Back to pass, Bricky. He's rushing. He's looking. Throws it in the flat. Threw it away. Incomplete. That one was buried. He was getting a pretty good rush. Zach Veneer was coming after him, and so was Scullery. Incomplete. They're going to punt, I suppose. We need to watch the fake punt here. They've got the wind behind their back, and they've got about 80 seconds, 81 to be exact, to play in the first half. DeMont will go all the way back to the 20, and they'll kick it from the, punt it from the 44. Snap is back, and they're going to punt. It's a high punt. DeMont's going to take it on the 13, back to the 10, trying to get outside, gets to the 15, and gets knocked down on about the 15 or 16. Pretty good punt, Terry. 43 yards on the punt, Bruce, two yards on the return. Lebanon takes over on their own 15, 109 left in the first half. I got a feeling we're going to just try to run the clock out. We're going into a strong win clock has started and there's 65 seconds to go in the half. Lebanon leads by 11, 17 to 6. One minute to go. Lebanon out of the huddle and up to the line. I'd be surprised if we just didn't run it straight ahead or a fullback or tailback. We give it to the fullback, Dirksen. He'll get about a yard if he got that. He just on a straight dive and Ray County takes a timeout. There's 43 seconds and a half. We'll take a 30-second timeout. We'll be back. 30 seconds. Seconds to go in the first half. Lebanon with a 17-6 lead. The rain once again has stopped. So it's been off and on throughout this first half. Ray County with one timeout left. 43 seconds. Officials timeout now. Is the referee... Stops Coach Mark Medley and talks to him as he was coming off the football field. Referees tonight out of Clarksville, Tennessee. Lebanon will be in a slot right eye set, 43 seconds. Take the ball and run Tyson Neal. Neal comes off tackle, got a yard to the 16, and that's about it. He fumbled a football, and let's see. I think they said he was down. He was. So that's a big break. He fumbled it after he got knocked down. Ray County's not taking a timeout on this particular play. It's down to 20 seconds. We won't have to run another play, I don't think. If they don't use their third timeout, we won't. They are going to use it. And I think we probably take a knee. We'll keep it here this time. It's, it's only 14 seconds. It's 17 to 6. Ray County, Terry, only one timeout. We can take a knee, and then the clock will run out. You're right, Bruce, and Lebanon looks like they're going to take a 17-6 lead going into halftime. Interesting enough, Lebanon has really run the ball on the ground tonight. They come into the game averaging about 150 yards a game on the ground. Lebanon's already rushed for almost 170 in the first half. Lebanon hasn't completed a pass, so no yards passing, but 170 on the ground. It's been real effective, and Lebanon leads 17-6. Bruce, kind of a tribute to that offensive front as we have just ground the football out against this Ray County defense. Ray County comes into this game only averaging about 13 points a game, and they've given up 17 this half. Field position's been all important.